We are back with more Mountain Connections live on this Tuesday, right now focusing on a reality show that is very important and educational. It's called Going From Broke. It has an all new season. I recently spoke with the host of this show and it's one where they talk to real people having big financial problems and help them through that. Let's take a look. These days, everyone seems to have money on their mind and their mind on their money, of course. It is getting harder and harder to get out of debt, which makes it a perfect time for a new season of Crackles Going for Broke. Today, I am speaking with Dan Rosenswag about the new season and navigating debt in these hard financial times. Dan, thanks for joining us today. How are you? Good, Christine. How are you? Doing well. So I'm looking forward to talking all about going from broke. It's a new season. Tell me more about it. Yeah, so season three uh, evolves from what season one and season two did. So season one and season two focused almost exclusively on student debt, which, as you probably know, is 44 million Americans with $1.7 trillion worth of debt. And there's a lot of great schools in Utah, but you still got to pay for them. Um, and so this year we expand because of debt that came because of COVID um, and because of credit card debt and auto debt, uh, interest rates rising. So it's, it's an expansion, a much more diverse group of people with much more diverse group of debt. And, you know, we've had 26 million views of season one and season two. So obviously people are acknowledging they struggle with money. Um, and the show is designed to be entertaining as well as educational. And um, we're really proud of this season because you can see from the beginning, middle to end, people, real struggles, how it changes the power dynamics in their families if they're married, young couples with 800,000 worth of debt, um, you know, a young 22-year-old woman with $27,000 worth of debt. We help them learn how to get out of it. And we're really proud of it. What has evolved? You mentioned, of course, the pandemic has changed finances quite a bit. But since you started this show, since season one, what are some of the other biggest changes that have happened within the personal finance world? Yeah, no, it's a great question. Well, the bad news is it's easier now than ever to spend money without even knowing you're spending it. Between PayPal and Venmo and Cash App and credit cards and debit cards and being able to borrow money for college when colleges keep raising their prices, the amount of debt has gotten worse. What's happened though as a result of that is credit scores have plummeted. Now you have inflation so people can afford less. Rents have gone through the roof. So you've got a proliferation of mental health issues, drug issues, suicide issues. Um, so it's not a laughing matter, but the show is designed to be both educational and entertaining because we got to admit we've got a problem with money. Once you admit it, you can do something about it and become the CEO of your own life. And all it means, Christine, to become the CEO of your own life is to own your own outcome, own your own choices, recognize that you're in control of more things than you take control over, and that once you start taking control, your life just gets better. And what I love about the show is, as you're right, it's entertainment, it's also education, but it really helps with that judgment piece. There's a lot of shame when things aren't going well with oh your finances. Oh, my God, yeah. Um, look, it breaks up relationships. Um, it, it, you, it helps determine who you want to spend your life with. It changes the relationship with your parents. If you have a parent plus loan where you're not paying it back and your parents may not lose their home, there's a lot of shame. And what you have to realize is that's a choice to feel shame. You should only feel shame if you know you're doing it and don't stop it. You can stop it and your life gets so much better. You realize, you know, I'm going out to, to, with my friends three or four nights a week. I'm suddenly spending $100 a week when I don't need to and I could be paying off my debt. Um, you're going out to dinners. You're not cooking at home. You're spending $5 on coffee. Sure, it doesn't mean you should never spend it. But once you realize how much income you generate after you pay your taxes and how much money you owe other people and then what you're spending money on that you don't owe, you're choosing to spend, you find that right balance between spending less than you bring in and truly everything gets better very quickly. Compound interest can work for you or against you. And going from broke, which again starts tonight on Crackle Season 3, will teach you and entertain you. And the vulnerability and honesty of the participants paired with the two of you and your expertise just makes for a great watch for everyone. Well, I appreciate you saying that because, 
you know, as a CEO, you think, you know, I'm not going to worry. I'm just going to tell these people what to do and they're going to do it. And then you fall in love with them and you realize they're amazing people and they've just made bad financial choices, but you can fix it. You know, we had a father had to admit to his daughter a really bad habit that he had. And you actually see her live reaction to it. How do you not love that daughter for doing it? Uh, we have a Purple Heart um, winner who, because of PTS, was struggling with the jobs he had and couldn't keep them. And, and I had a chance, to, actually just this week in New York City, to take them to a veterans event. So you're right, it is, these folks are wonderful people. They're just like you. They're great people who've made bad financial decisions and we can help you get out of that. How can we make sure to tune in? It starts tonight, what else do we need to know? Just go to Crackle, it's a free streaming service. That's why we put it there. We're thrilled with the partnership with Crackle because seasons one and season two, we've already had over 26 million views. So you know it's really popular with people. So go watch it, let us know what you think. Crackle starting today for free. Well, thank you so much, Dan, for talking with us today. Love the show, appreciate your time with us. And once again, Going From Broke, season three, premieres November 10th for free streaming only on Crackle. Thanks again for your time. Thank you, Christine.